Good morning students. Welcome back to the chemistry lesson. The topic is separation of mi mixtures. There are two different methods of separating a substance from mixture. The first one, the process is called a sublimation. Sublimation is the process of a solid substance when heated change directly from solid to gaseous state without attaining a liquid state. The vapors when cool back into solid substance, this process is known as sublimation. Examples, iodine, camphor, ammonium chloride, etc. Then explain the process of sublimation. The powdered mixture of ammonium chloride and sand is taken in a china dish and it is covered with a perforated asbestos sheet and the inverted funnel is placed over the asbestos sheet. The open end of the stem of the funnel is closed using a cotton wool and the china dish is heated. The pure vapors of the volatile solid passes through the holes in the asbestos sheet and condense on the inner sides of the funnel. The non-volatile impurity, that is sand, remains in the china dish. Hence, the no sand and ammonium chloride can be separated by the process is called as sublimation. Then different methods of separating mixtures from the substances from the mixture. The first one, solid solid can be separated by the process sublimation. The second one, insoluble solid and a liquid can be separated by centrifugation, decantation, etc. Two immiscible liquids can be separated by separating funnel. The two miscible liquids can be separated by fractional distillation. And the soluble solid and the liquid can be separated by distillation. And the solution of two or more solid in a liquid can be separated by chromatography. The second one, centrifugation. It is a process by which a fine insoluble solid from a liquid solid mix, liquid mixture can be separated in a machine called centrifuge. The centrifuge rotates at a very high speed. On being rotated by the centrifugal force, the heavier solid particles that move down and the lighter liquid that remains up. Then, what are the uses of centrifugation? The first one in milk dairies, this process is used to separate cream from milk. The second one in washing machine, this principle is used to squash out water from wet cloths. Then the third one, centrifugation is used in pathological laboratories to separate blood cells from a blood sample. The third process that is a separating funnel. Two immiscible liquids. The two immiscible liquids can be separated by solvent extraction method. What are the two immiscible liquids? Kerosene and water or oil and water can be separated by the solvent extraction method. This method works on the difference in the solubility of two immiscible liquids in a liquid solvent. For example, water and oil or kerosene and water that can be separated by using a separating funnel. Now, consider a mixture water and kerosene that is taken in a uh, separating funnel. Close the mouth of the separating funnel with the help of a cotton. Shake the separating funnel for 10 minutes and allow to stand for 15 minutes. What happens here? The less dense layer, there is the kerosene remains in the upper layer and the high denser liquid water remains in the lower layer. Here water and kerosene can be separated by the process called separating funnel. Then fourth one, distillation. Distillation is a process of obtaining a pure liquid from the solution. Best example, in many countries, the sea water is directly converted into drinking water by the process called distillation. Here, distillation means evaporation and condensation. Here, take a distillation flask containing a 
salt water and this uh, distillation flask is closed with the help of a one hole uh, rubber stopper then the bulk of this thermometer is slightly below the side uh, below the side tube then the sea water is taken in a distillation flask and it is heated for boiling what happens now pure water vapor passes through the inner tube of the condenser and the vapors on cooling by using the condenser and the pure water is collected in the receiver and the salt is left behind in the flask in this way you have to get the pure water from the solution that is a salt solution the next process that is fractional distillation fractional distillation is a process which is used to separate two or more miscible liquids what are miscible liquids alcohol and water and here these two miscible liquids can be separated by using the fractional distillation and these two liquids they differ in their boiling point that is less than 25 kelvin this process is fractional distillation alcohol and water is taken in a distillation a fractional distillation a distillation flask and it is closed with a one hole rubber cork and fit the thermometer and fit the condenser now the distillation flask containing alcohol and water is uh, heated what happens here the vapors of the alcohol that passes through the inner sides of the condenser and it is collected in the reservoir so alcohol is collected here and this water is remains in the distillation flask so here the water and alcohol can be separated by the process called fractional distillation the next process chromatography in chromatography you can use the two important terms adsorption and absorption what do you mean the adsorption means it is the process in which the particles of a substance is concentrated at the surface of the another substance what do you mean the absorption means it is the process in which the substance is uniformly distributed throughout the whole or bulk of the another substance for example take a chalk stick is dipped in a ink the surface of the color of the ink due to adsorption of colored molecules and the solvent of the ink goes deeper into the uh, stick due to absorption when you are breaking the chalk stick it is found to be white from inside and based upon so what is chromatography chromatography is a separation of uh, are used to separate a different components of a mixture based on their different solubilities in the same solvent then explain paper chromatography this method is used to separate paper chromatography this method is used to separate the different color dyes in the say sample of ink a spot of ink is put on to the piece of a chromatography paper this paper is then set in a suitable solvent the black ink separate into its constituent dyes as the solvent moves up the paper the dyes are carried out with it and it begins to separate they separate because they have different solubility in the solvent and are absorbed to different extents by the chromatography paper the chromatogram shows the black ink contains three dyes this is the explanation of paper chromatography